senior faculty with HIMT. I shall be talking about digital relays today. The basic understanding is uh, required to accept the concepts and application of digital relays on board the ship. They are basically used for protection purposes. Because uh, present day systems, all the ships are majority, rather we can say, they are all automated ships. So earlier days, we had the conventional mechanical, electromechanical, electromagnetic induction type relays for protection. They are all getting replaced with digital uh, relays because of its adaptability and the easy maneuverability. What you are seeing in this picture is a relay. The photograph here shows you the cut section view of the relay. It shows all the parts. There are some contacts here on the right side you see. Written there, normally open, normally close contacts. On top and bottom, you've got the contacts. The relay basically consists of a coil. Once the, when it is energized, the contact closes. So for energizing the coil, you have to give the control volt supply, whatever it is rated supply given by the manufacturer. In this particular relay, uh, you will be able to connect three independent circuits. What you are seeing here is only one contact. On the transfer side internally, you will have three more contacts. So three circuits can be connected. And if you see that the assembled relay, on the left side, you see that there is a markings given. You have a number of uh, different contacts which can be made. These are all called the base pins. A little difficult to directly wire. So normally this is in, inserted in a relay base here. This is a relay base. And all connections can be given to these uh, terminals. Wiring has to be done for the different sectors. So when the coil is energized, the contact closes, the circuit is established. Basically, the relays, contactors, switches, circuit breaker, they all perform only one function. They make the circuit or they break the circuit, meaning circuit is either established or circuit is disconnected. For high current applications, we are using circuit breakers. And uh, in case any fault or anything is occurring, the circuit breaker has to trip off to disconnect the supply. The enabling that uh, disconnection or tripping of the circuit breaker is done by these relays. Plus any other control circuit, what you want to have, you can have in this thing. Even PLC control, when you want to give an input uh, uh, data or something, you can use these relays to make all off functions, on and off functions. So the, basically, the relay contains a coil. Whenever the current is given to the coil, it gets uh, produces a magnetic field. So there is an armature or a plunger, an iron core, which gets magnetized, that tries to pull the contact down, making the contact. So I'm giving the supply like this. One from here, one from here. When the contact closes, the supply comes, supply comes from here like this, goes through the contact, it is established now, and it goes to the load side. So this is the supply point, and this is the load connector. For example, I connect a bulb or something like that. Supply comes like this, when the relay is, is closed, this contact is closed, this is made and the bulb starts burning. The advantage is that it's not that like a manual switch is there, you put on and put off manually. I can do it from the remote operation by just energizing a coil. This is operation. So this is the coil shown at the bottom where my pointer is showing. This is the iron core. Normally, the contacts have got one is called a normally closed contact and normally open contact. When the relay is not energized, when the relay is not energized, this is the position. Return there, no voltage. That means relay coil is not energized. When the relay coil is energized, see this contact closes. So the supply can come from here, go through this, and go to the load. There's something called uh, uh, utilization or usage of this word called analog and the digital relays. The analog meter relay uses mechanical contacts or micro switch to operate an external device. It's all using a mechanical contact like what you saw the contact that is normally open or normally closed contacts. 
by energizing the coil, thereby it can be done. If you see the circuit here on the right side, they are all sort of an operational amplifier for amplifying the signal, etc. And there is a time delay. If you want to introduce a time delay, after some time, the relay has to close. Or after some time, the contact has to close or open. You can do. As an example, you have got something called a time delay switch on the CO2 system. When you open the pilot cylinder, immediately the main manifold wall is not getting opened up. There is a time delay given. The time delay, after the time delay only, that uh, uh, wall will open and CO2 can be flooded into the engine. So that alignment, they can make it along with the, like this, with that uh, relay contacts, etc. The timer is also operated with the relay only. Normal protection, if you see in the circuit breaker or anything, very common type is called that overcurrent relay. It is going to trip that circuit breaker. The overcurrent relay, overload relay, they are all same. One and same. Load means, in electrical terms, the current flowing through the circuit. To the load means, connected motor or lamp or bulb or transformer, it is going to draw the current. When the current is exceeding due to some fault, we have to protect the equipment for that there is an overcurrent or overload protection. Equipment. Normally, for motors, we have got a bimetal uh, strip which will open the circuit when the overload takes place. The setting is given, 10% of overload or 15% of overload, etc. When the current reaches that limit, the bimetal uh, expands and then opens up. Because when the current is flowing, heat is produced. The bimetal trip it is operating on the thermal principle. When temperature is a particular level, that coefficient of expansion is different between the bimetal and the main metal. So the bimetal ship opens up, the tube is getting broken. Normally we wait for some time for the temperature to come down. We reset the relay and then make the circuit again operable. Once the overload is clear, once the fault is clear, we can reset the relay and then make the circuit operable. So if you see here on the photograph, this is a sort of assembled commercialized overload trip which is connected to the contactor in the sector, motor sector. The contactor has got the main uh, circuit, wherein that uh, I'll show you by the design. And this overload trip will be having a setting. You've got the buttons, etc. Markings are there. And then you can make the settings manually to enable that uh, circuit to trip in case the overload takes place. You see here, this is that uh, connection line. This is a contactor. You see that uh, L1, L2, L3. They are the three lines coming from the power, from the MSB. There is a contact in between. And then here, that uh, T1, T2, T3, what is shown here, it goes to the motor, but it goes through an overload relay. Really. So when the overload takes place, this contactor opens up, thereby MSB is separated from the motor. The motor stops. So this overload relay consists of a coil here and a bimetal. Normally, contact is made, but when the temperature increases due to overload, the contact opens. The bimetal opens. Thereby, the tripping takes. If you see on top, there are two leads given here, marked A1, A2. That is for the coil, for closing the contact. This coil is also electromagnetically operated, just like what you saw the relay. Same way, in the back side or rear side, you've got a coil, and it has got a plunger or armature. So, when that is energized, the contact will close, thereby establishing the line and the motor connection. When the trip takes place, the contact opens up, they are disconnecting the sector. Then after some time, you do the resetting, the resetting button, etc. They are all provided in the overload uh, uh, relay. These type of relays, normally we are seeing for this uh, reverse power protection or uh, uh, overload protection, etc. 
on the left side what you are seeing is idmt relay inverse definite minimum time delay relay the right side is the reverse power uh, uh, trip in case the alternator when it's running in parallel with the other alternators start running as a motor the reverse power trip is given as a protection not for the alternator it is for the auxiliary in the prime mover this is that uh, what is called that uh, all the uh, breakers circuit breakers relays switches contactors they all operate on inverse time characteristic when you say inverse time characteristic then the fault current increases tripping time reduces this is a rectangular hyperbola curve here this type of uh, this thing they have got uh, two coils two cores are there there is one core in the top one core at the bottom in the reverse power relay the top core gets to voltage supply through a potential transformer the bottom uh, core can uh, get a, a supply of current through current transformer so both the core the magnetic field is produced because of the interaction of the magnetic field that aluminum disc in the center it starts rotating aluminum disc when the magnetic field is balanced aluminum disc remains same when that balance is disturbed due to the reverse current or reverse flow of the power in ac we say reverse power dc is the reverse current but uh, this type of coil we show it only for the reverse uh, power because what we call the power component reverses from the msb we say in some current alone the power component of the current is reversing in a real uh, technical terms we say i cos phi is a current component of the power current component of the power that i cos phi is reverse if you see here on the left hand side same thing top there is a two coils in the top and that bottom coil is connected to the bottom core also they are connected together the top coil is receiving the general current it's connected in series in the circuit of the load so current flows through this it's magnetizing the core this is inducing a voltage in the bottom uh, coil that is magnetizing the bottom core sort of a time delay is there and uh, when the whole load takes place the top core is getting magnetized first then the bottom core is also coming following the same uh, this thing so meanwhile that disc starts turning because the imbalance in the magnetic field and then that uh, trip takes place. these are all done mechanically setting everything done mechanically this is called a differential protection just in case uh, uh, any one phase is going or uh, there is a fault in one particular phase there is a difference in current in the other two phases the three phase circuit so this uh, relay can be made to uh, trip the circuit breaker to avoid any damage but all the things the tripping is taking place mainly to be the uh, increase in the level of current only thing the settings will be different for overload protection setting is different reverse power the setting is uh, different and your uh, short circuit that uh, setting is different uh, single phasing also the setting will be different. So individual uh, the same for uh, preventer, we have individual relays. For single facing preventer, I can't introduce the same uh, overload uh, circuit. For single facing preventer, I must have a separate uh, relay requirement. Short circuit protection, there should not be much time delay. It should be instantaneous. So I have to use a separate protection. Over current, I can have a setting of 10% overload uh, with a delay of about 5 to 10 seconds. So setting is possible in over current or overload. But short circuit protection normally go for the instantaneous short circuit. So the setting is different. So the individually for the each protection, we got a separate arrangement. But in digital relays, all these things can be programmed with one single relay. So number of circuits are minimized. That is that the mechanical components or mechanical insulation of the uh, system is getting minimized. So when you want to come to the digital relay, the relay is a protection secured component that uses a microprocessor to analyze power system voltages, currents, or other process quantities for the purpose of detection of faults in an electric power system. Idea is the microprocessor has got a programmed set values required. There are some uh, values are changing in the system that is given as input to the microprocessor. Which compares with the set value and whatever the discrepancy is there, accordingly the output is given to activate or to the system. 
so main advantage is uh, uh, high level of uh, the orientation or integration everything can be programmed without having individual components for individual uh, tripping protection circuits and these circuits can be uh, had for wide range of temperatures in the sense that i can provide that to cooling arrangement air conditioning or whatever it is required system temperature can be different but the control circuit temperature can be maintained thereby the tripping can be done without any uh, bad effect or without any much delay and these things can be made as a auto check or auto adaptability again by program so if you see that schematic diagram i am having that input signal marked here these input signals normally they come through something what we call transducers the term used is little uh, iphone dot com nothing but a sensor which is sensing and sending the signal that uh, signal sensed need not be a steady state value it can be an analog value or a variable value may be minor or medium or major but the microprocessor what i am programming a computer or a cpu or a microprocessor normally it reads out only digital signals that means the input signal has to be converted into digital signal for which we are having something called a analog digital converter and we filter out all the fluctuations etc noise level etc everything we filter it out and then send it to the processor the processor compares the input value and what is the required value accordingly the output is given in the digital format again in a digital format digital means fixed value uh, uh, just to understand as a layman's language ac is analog pure dc is a digital fixed zero one like that maximum but ac is going on varying then you may ask me if i rectify that is a dc a digital no if you have a rectified output rectified output is also an analog dc only i have to use filters to make it digital so i have to make a adc converter and then give by chance the digital output system is coming the relay output marked here on the right side if i want to have a steady state value i can have same digital but if i want to have a variable value depending upon the system what i am going to use it which is adaptable to ac or dc whatever it is that's case if i want i can have a, a dac converter that is digital to analog converter dac so on the input side i have got adc analog signals can be converted to digital signals once it is processed by the microprocessor the output can be a dac or it can be only a digital output so this is according to the manufacturer so the processor can be entered with so many programs just like we have a lot of apps and programs loaded in the computer etc that microprocessor can handle the size of the microprocessor is a microprocessor size is very less it's not going to occupy the space of a uh, that uh, reverse power trip or overload relay etc what is there in the msp what you are seeing on the papers so this is the arrangement all these are random access memory read only memory etc programmable memory and all these things are done in the microprocessor whenever i have an analog input i must convert it to digital and then give to the microprocessor where i have a discrete input sub system that means incoming signal itself is a steady state signal i don't need an adc converter so once the microprocessor has sense and i know what is the output required i can use a discrete output system for tripping either it can be a digital or it can be analog depending upon the uh, system what i am going to use it for the tripping normally there is a coil in any circuit breaker tripping coil is there and the making coil is there the signal is going to the tripping coil to release the circuit breaker contact and another thing what you call same digital relay we have something called a numerical relay numerical that means it has got some fixed quantity quantum or quantity is introduced as in the programming so these numerical relays are natural developments of digital relays and if you use here what is called a logic gate logic gate means i apply a logic if this happens and that also happens then the trip has to take place 
if this alone happens trip can take place neither this nor that like that no we have to use a logic terminology just like what you are doing the plc control the programming ladder logic programming same way logics the numerical relays are uh, designed so it's an evolved form of a static and electromagnetic so it measures the electrical parameters in electric network convert them into a numerical data set value that undergoes a mathematical and logical analysis to decide on tripping an electrical network in pure digital relay we don't deploy the logic part of it it just compares and uh, senses that uh, required value accordingly the output is given but in numerical relay this is an added feature it is programmed with a logic sense so the advantage of numerical relay is because the versatile characteristic like it can monitor multiple parameters like current voltage frequency on set time off set time etc so as i told you earlier the time delay of the idmt relay etc in so waiting for the coil or the magnetic field effect to take place i can set it for them after 10 seconds trip and the reverse power is 10% on the reverse side 10 seconds to pop the signal will go automatically and exactly after the 10 seconds there is no time lag in that electromechanical or magnetic relays due to wear and tear over a period of time the contacts may be getting worn out and maybe there's a thermal expansion because the current is going the heat is taking place there may be a time lag over a period of time more than what is required but this will relate only program exactly i can uh, set the thing and then achieve what i want to achieve so if you see here they are all mentioned here like a uh, just ram etc d ram wherever you find s ram it is a static random access memory d ram means dynamic random access memory dynamic means where it's constantly changing static means remain static fixed then it's a, like a dictionary meaning accordingly the design is made so it may look very much complicated to see all these things but all these things can be made into a single micro chip processor integrated circuit like that in a circuit i can have uh, one control is on three four relays or i can have three or four controlling the entire uh, operational function is possible that is a uh, one of the major advantages so if you see that the micro processor relay benefit multi function protection cost effectiveness initially any development taking place or anything introduced in the market it will be too costlier but over a period of time when the consumption or consumer intake is more the rates will come down compared to the mechanical replacement etc this microprocessor etc nowadays it can be cheap it is configurable logic program you can make that program such a way that self testing every 12 months or every 18 months flexible just like you have got this uh, anti virus system in the computer etc where you have got it will be scanning automatically after some time and you have got the mobile phone or the uh, laptop where the windows update will take place automatically in my mobile phone that uh, thing comes please keep the power on night time will uh, upload the software so all these type of uh, relay algorithms etc can be tested and modified it can be preset with a timing file same time if i want to monitor the health of the breaker contact etc because when the contact opens and closes there will be always arcing taking place the contactors may go out so the healthiness of the breaker contacts also can be checked for example the same the, a microprocessor can be given an input to a thermal imaging camera which monitors the temperature rise across the contact and warns you with an alarm saying that temperature is increasing please sir uh, uh, do not use this circuit replace whatever it is an example i'm just giving. so settings can be flexible multiple setting levels i can make the communication capabilities good keypad or via computer and modem networks can be created in this i just want to mention you latest uh, automated ships etc they have got the uh, different networks available controller area network wide area network local area network accordingly we are processing different uh, control systems in a single stage where we are using scada and from there we have that uh, dcs what we call distributed control systems 
and this is completely a compact package everything is enclosed in a small package but one drawback is that if it is not working you have to replace but replacement is not a very expensive one compared to replacing the mechanical component where you have to take a shutdown and then replace it but here the pcb can be pulled out and the another pcb can be inserted without disturbing the system so where we are using this digital relays distributor feeder production mainly the motors transformers and other load what are taking circuit breaker failure protection circuit breaker opening and closing alternator protection alternator normally you are all uh, thinking about the overload protection in the uh, instant in a short circuit protection reverse power protection etc there is one more protection required for the alternators also what is called a differential current relay protection in case there is an air fault taking place between the alternator and the main circuit breaker the cable going on that uh, a cable tray if there is an air fault taking place at cable the auxiliary engine has to stop otherwise the alternator will be going on feeding the voltage of uh, to develop the voltage and the fault current will be fed or else i have to cut off the excitation of the alternator so that is possible by programming generator can be protected in case of exigencies same thing transformer uh, msb etc motor overload protection or short circuit protection single phase etc so the digital relays have to summarize programmable inputs programmable outputs logic programming what we call in mathematical terms boolean algebra they got and gate or gate not gate nor gate etc and as i told you in the beginning maybe uh, i just uh, went little fast over there all these breakers fuses etc they operate on inverse time characters there is always a time delay that time delay is given i can select it with the digital relays by means of a program now people may think just a small uh, this thing i am just giving you we have got these hrc fuses in that uh, msb on the load circuit these hrc fuses the current rating of the fuse cannot increase but i can increase the time delay so we have got three types of fuses actually fast acting relay normal acting relay and time delay relay. on board the ship we normally use time delay relay that you have to go into that uh, electrical design data book or that uh, uh, manufacturer's catalog etc and select what time delay you want as soon as you start the motor the current is six or sometimes more i don't want that uh, breaker to trip off so it has to be stand for some time the time delay you can choose depending upon the uh, type of application what you are doing for example purifier motor current will increase till it picks up the speed so i must have a time delay accordingly the time delay fuses are manufactured but current setting is same for example if you have 10 kilowatt motor the fuse rating will be around 17 to 17.5 ampere this 17.5 ampere cannot change but 17.5 ampere can have a zero time delay or it can have one minute time delay etc according to fuses are available but that is according you have to choose different fuses for different circuit hrc fuses not the control circuit fuses hrc fuses high rupturing capacity fuses in the load circuit but here programmable time current fuses i can uh, program it in the microprocess means of going for different fuses uh, so settings are quite easy multiple settings are possible it can be stored in the memory any time you want you can just uh, select it from the memory and then replace it and uh, it will be exactly accurate whatever you have set it on the dot it will be little accurate there is no drip no over travel from the set point you can have a reset time fast as well with this i end up my lecture thank you very much for patient listening and uh, we'll meet some other time in other lectures also i'm planning to give lot of series of lectures all these lectures are available in the hmt youtube channel i request you to subscribe whatever the useful knowledge you can enhance your knowledge thank you very much